Trust me. The following contest is a Balls Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 249 pounds, Jake the Snake Roberts. A more sinister individual has never walked the earth. His opponent better be ready to do battle with Satan himself. Guys, I think now's a good time to tell you that I really don't like snakes. Oh, I hope he puts that bag on his table. Oh, no, no, Gus, no, please don't. As sly and shrewd as they come, dangerous, accomplished, a master manipulator. One never knows what thoughts are floating throughout the mind of Jake the Snake Roberts. Anonymous with WCW, now here in WWE, the one and only Sting. The iconic one, the man who single-handedly saved WCW. How about all the classic battles with the nature boy, Ric Flair? <laughs> Defeating Hollywood Hulk Hogan for the World Heavyweight Championship. You could go on and on. Facing Triple H at WrestleMania. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. What a stop! Good grief! That hurt the shoulder. Vertical suplex. Nice. What a stomp. Good grief. Not a good spot for Jake Roberts. I fully expect him to bounce back, oh, though. Man. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. Everything in sight right now, Michael. Jake Roberts is starting to show signs of fatigue. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. He looks absolutely drained right now, guys. This Falls Count Anywhere match has really done a number on him. But if you're counting him out now, with a pile driver. 
There is no coming back from that one. How's Jake Roberts going to survive? He's calling for it. Uh-oh. Stinger with a scorpion death drop. This one is over. Going to the cover. The pinball and the victory. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a few times. Epic. Here is your winner, the man known as Sting. Big win for Sting. Wow, when you pick up a pinball victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. This is the type of battle that you could show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. But what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Oh, no. I 
He's got him up high. Oh, what a slam that hurt. What a stomp. Good grief. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them. Oh, an elbow drop. He's got him covered. An ultimate warrior makes quick use of the kick out. Definitely has his work cut out for him. Scott Hall forced to play defense here. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment and it cost him. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. Ouch. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Let's hope for his sake that he can keep performing at this level. It's a tall order. The Ultimate Warrior just too fast for him. Setting up. Suplex. When it comes to falls count anywhere matches, for my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. The Warrior, harsh impact. I knew it was only a matter of time. Feel the power of the Ultimate Warrior. I don't know if Scott Hall even knows where he is right now. How is Hall going to remain alive? Speaking of that classic Charlotte Sasha, clearly looking to prove some dominance there. If that's the case, I would consider that mission accomplished. He might have it. A quick reversal by Ric Flair. Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember in a Falls Count Anywhere match is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon, Saxton. Dreaded claw to the oh, shoulder, man. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. Yeah, keep in mind, Cole, the fact that there's no disqualification also means that anybody can interfere and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. Let's hope, for his sake, that he can keep performing at this level. The tall order. Ultimate Warrior with the cover! I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. Not yet. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce, the official sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the victor. Yeah, the referee may only have one job, but I'm still willing to bet he finds a way to mess it up. Here he goes. You gotta believe this one's over. I don't know if Scott Hall even knows where he is right now. Oh, what a splash. Here's his... You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era, but before that, Ultimate Warrior for the win. Well, Falls Count Anywhere matches never disappoint, and this one was no exception. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic.
from the opening bell, this match was one for the ages. I'm almost speechless. Almost. Here is your winner, the Ultimate Warrior! You heard the ring announcer. This one's over. And here's your winner. And you know there are guys in the back right now hoping they never have to cross paths with this guy. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. Shut up. The following contest is a Fall Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from the Isle of Samoa. Weighing in Here we at go. 401 pounds, Rikishi. Oh man, still not officially underway. Look at the entire WWE. Clearly targeting the shoulder. What a stomp. Good grief. Big backdrop. Bringing it back between the ropes. Incredible impact. Looks like Big Boss Man starting to weaken here. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. Hey, you're going to get hurt in a match like this. That's just the way it is. There's really no way around it. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Boom! Right across the small of the back. The impact. Big boss man starting to lose some steam. I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on him. He's going to need to be careful here. Oh, clothesline! Yeah, he's definitely shifted into another oh. gear. Ooh, that'll mess up your shoulder. <laughs> Swinging neck breaker connects. A quick reversal by Rikishi. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Beautiful technique. Rikishi slipping some here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. It's 
hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredictable nature of this match is too much for him to overcome. The good news for him is that his opponent's offense is likely packing a little less. Night, night. Boss man's night might be over here. Oh, he got him. Let's look at this again. Rikishi makes a cover. One, two, three. Yes! Unreal performance. Here is your winner, Rikishi. What a great win here for Rikishi. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much. God! one like Andre. Here comes the hitman. Oh yeah, the excellence of execution. And his opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman. I gotta say, guys, it is an absolute honor to be here ringside to call a match featuring the excellence of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Saxon. You've been complaining about the Hitman's attitude recently, and I think it's ridiculous. The only thing you've ever excelled at is being subpar. I have the utmost respect for Bret Hart, but I don't appreciate the fact that he seems to not believe that people still respect him the way they have over the last 10 years. And we're underway. Looking oh, at these man. two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Oh my god, what 
impact. Boom, what impact! We have Bret Hart on the defensive. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. We have any newbies watching a false count anywhere match means that this contest can literally end anywhere simple right even saxton can understand those rules so agile in describing this match corey you said it can end anywhere which means we could see this match conclude in the ring the stands the locker room heck it could even out end out Inside the streets and on top of that it's worth noting that anything is legal in this match guys the only rule is there are no rules leg drop there's a pin now digging deep for a kick out he's got some more fight in him guys Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a false count anywhere match means that this contest can literally... Bret Hart makes a cover, and the Giant getting the shoulder up. Definitely has his work cut out for him. What a stomp. Good grief. Uh -oh. oh, my goodness, crushing it. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. In describing this match, Corey, you said it can end anywhere, which means we could see this match conclude in the ring, the stands, the locker room. Heck, it could even... And he breaks the cover. Gonna take a whole lot more. The hitman looking a bit fatigued. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. He has to remember that balls count anywhere in this match. And given his condition right now, he may fall victim to that sooner than later. You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era, but before that, I remember Pat Patterson and Sergeant Slaughter's famous 1981 Alley fight, which many consider to be the precursor to Falls Count Anywhere. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson Sergeant Slaughter Alley fight had many of the elements of a Falls Count Anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from cowboy boots to brass knuckles, but more importantly, weren't you born in 1980? <laughs>
There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. He has the ability to turn it on in a heartbeat. The longer the oh, driver spiked him. That's what he was looking for, Michael. He's got the sharpshooter. Are we really going to see Andre lose here? Things just went from bad to worse for Andre the Giant. That was clever, Byron. What a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far here tonight. see Sting hurt him a little here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Looking for the finish. He'd be wise to stay right there. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Oh, look at this. Oh, man, that hurts. Ultimate Warrior gets out of trouble quickly. Let's hope for his sake that he can keep performing at this level. It's a tall order. Harsh impact. Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember in a Falls Count Anywhere match is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon, Saxton. in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. Yeah, keep in mind, Cole, the fact that there's no disqualification also means that anybody can interfere and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh, shoulder first. I think the ring just shifted. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count, and look at close line. This is all but over. Ultimate Warrior in a little bit of trouble. Just some great execution right there. Oh, boy, he is stinger splash. No one does it better. Talk about taking care of business. And Sting might have just secured the victory. 
Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce, the official's sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the victor. Yeah, the referee may only have one job, but I'm still willing to bet he finds a way to mess it up. Counter here. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Nailed it. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. How do you think Ultimate Warrior could unleash substantial punishment right now? And at this point, how much more does he have to give? The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. Man, he was making it look easy there for a moment, which is pretty impressive considering who he's in the ring with. Let's hope, for his sake, that he can keep performing at this level. The Tall Order. And Sting slips out of harm's way. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. And there's the reversal from Sting. Incoming! He may get the three count right here! Uh, I think so! This battle's not over yet. Yeah, this early, no chance. Ultimate Warrior finds a way out. Back now inside the ring. Ooh, what impact. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oof, kick finds it. The suplex off the top rope. Oh, <laughs> ultimate War. You gotta believe this one's over. Looks like the end. Feel the power of the Ultimate Warrior. Looks like the end of the road for. We got a cover. The Ultimate Warrior has done it. Here is your winner. Gonna feel the effects of this win for a while. <laughs> After that one, Sting may just retreat to the Raptors and stay there. Oh, let's hope not. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come. One of my favorites. You guys ready? The following contest is a ball count anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from now the look at this. of Samoa. Uh -oh, here we go. Weighing in at 400 one pounds. Rikishi's a former Intercontinental Champion, three times. Come on, we need to get order here. Oh, nasty impact. Beautiful technique. This might be it. Oh, my. Stump puller oh. leg snap. Oh, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring.
Look at the height. Uh -oh. The, oh, oh my goodness, crushing it. Rikishi slowing down now. Well, these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. I know it's early, but if things stay the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era, but before that, I remember Pat Patterson and Sergeant Slaughter's famous 1981 alley fight, which many consider to be the precursor to Falls Count Anywhere. And control. Nasty attack to the neck. He has the ability to turn it on in a heartbeat. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson Sergeant Slaughter alley fight had many of the elements of a Falls Count Anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from cowboy boots to brass knuckles, but more importantly, weren't you born in 1981, Saxton? Good point. able to avoid damage. Oh, oh. man, inverted backbreaker. Ow! Bang! Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Red Hart is measuring. The Hitman has the sharpshooter cinched in. Excellently executed. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. They tapped out. It's all over. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. Here is your winner, the Hitman. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. We talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.
someone get this lunatic under control? Yeah, why don't you go try? It's nuts in here! Listen to this punch! The blood pumping and flowing through the veins of all the little warriors in the WWE Universe. You were a little warrior, right, Byron? I still am! From Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. I gotta say, guys, it is an absolute honor to be here ringside to call a match featuring the excellence of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Zach. What's this? Well, I think it's about to be a highlight reel. Oh, the referee needs to get control of this. Yeah, that didn't take long. Suplex! What a stop! Good grief! Oh, the dreaded claw to the oh, shoulder! man! Oh, no! Oh, what impact! What a slam! Impactful. It'll jar your spine. Now it's Bret Hart on the defensive. Oh. To be expected, though, it's not like he's in there with a slouch, guys. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. What separates the Ultimate Warrior from everyone else is the endless amount of energy we all see on display when he enters the ring. You know, most opponents see that as wasted energy and even strategize to use it against the Warrior. Contrary to the strategy Byron mentioned against the Ultimate Warrior, I see his entrance as a strength. Think about it. If you're watching a wild man barreling towards you at full speed, you wouldn't know what to expect. Well, anytime you enter a ring with the Ultimate Warrior, you're entering a world close to parts unknown. If you think getting the Warrior blown up is going to be your key to success, be prepared to get run over. If history's shown us anything when it comes to Bret Hart, it's that an opponent doesn't want to try to match technical skill with the man called the excellence of execution. <laughs> Corey, you brought something up earlier, and it needs... There's the cover. Can he do it? And a quick kick out for the ultimate warrior. It's way too early. What impact. Elbow drop with authority. Drop kick. The legacy of the ultimate warrior has always lived within his fans. It is the little warriors who become the storytellers of this man's uncontrollable intensity. Impact. He's looking. You gotta believe this one's over. We might be looking. Oh, what a splash! This one's over, guys. You and his shoulders are down. There's the pinball and the victory. Here is your winner and the new WWE. Undisputed champion, the Ultimate Warrior! Impressive victory for Ultimate Warrior here tonight. Oh, looks like Brett's opponent was even better than the best there ever will be. <laughs> what a great match we just saw here on Raw. Thank you everybody at home for choosing to spend part of your Monday night with us. 